What's up? Welcome back. Today, I want to talk about how you can import, export, and make a PDF file of your sequences. Let's go. Hey guys, if you're new to this channel, in my channel, I'm covering things from basic to advanced, I'm going to write topics, troubleshooting, tutorials. So if you haven't subscribed yet, considering doing so. It's very good to be back. It's been a while since last time. I've been very busy. And my latest video was in the Magneto World Summit and you can find a video link right here. So go check it out where I'm talking about MSK fast and efficient, where I'm giving tips and tricks from the bottom of my heart, doing the old school way. In our daily work, you know we listen to each other, we discuss, we share, and then we adapt, right? So I find a part with this, which is very important, that is being able to share your protocol. By that, I mean how you can import, export, and make a PDF file of your sequences. This is important as well. Without further ado, let's go to the scanner and I will show you. Okay, we are using the software E11C, but you will see similarities with the old software, how to import, export, and make a PDF file. So down in the corner here, you see the program card. And next to it, you see a button right there. Push that one, and then you see that cockpit. You also have the opportunity to switch on the, between these two. So now you have that cockpit there, and the program card is right there. But I recommend you to have the settings like this because the program card is a card for everyone to use and it's easy for like uh, choose the sequence and just go for it without any possibilities to edit the protocol. Just like this one, drag and drop. So let's go into dark cockpit. In dark cockpit, that's the place where you can edit your protocol, where you can optimize your sequences and save it. So here you have the opportunity to create different user tree. Just go into this button right here. And then you can just choose a new tree if you want to create your own one. So let's go here and I will show you. Here you have the opportunity to edit your protocol in edit mode and OK and save it if you want to. Besides that, let's go for the export. Just gonna export the program right here. So either you can right click and you can find the export button right there or up in the corner right there, it's the same. So if you have a USB pen inside now, you can just choose that one and choose the name and click save. So you see right there, I just saved the C spine program. And in that saving files, I can add different protocol, just like this one. I can just add it like that. Or I can add multiple, as how many as I want. So when it comes to import, you just choose the specific file from the USB pen or whatever you got. And just mark it and push that button right there. That's the import button. So if you want to export the whole uh, user tree, you can just go up in there and push the export. And this is, of course, the Siemens one. I'm not, I'm not gonna export this one. It takes too long now. Just gonna cancel it. And if you want to make a PDF file, let's say you want to make a PDF file out of that T1 right there. Just right click and then print. There you go, have on the table of contents and the protocols and uh, the file name, you can just save it wherever you want to your USB pen and just rename it to whatever you want. So let's go and check that file. 
So because the table of contents is on right there, it makes it faster for you to scroll through and uh, choose the sequence you want to check. Let's just choose this one. There you go. There you have all the information on the sequence. You have the TR, the TE, the flip angle, everything, which possibilities for you to create the sequence. Let's choose another one. And then another one right there. So the thing is that if you have a software E11C, that means that you can uh, import sequences from an older version. If you have an older version, you cannot import from a new version, vice versa. So whenever you got a fault error message, that means you cannot get import. So with a PDF file, you can rebuild the sequence. It takes a longer time, but possibilities are right there. Well, that's it guys. I hope you find this video valuable. I know many of you guys uh, knew before how you can do this kind of stuff, but there are also new people out there which is new to Siemens scanners. So I do have a question for you before we close up. Did you know how to do this stuff before you watch this video? If so, let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, do not forget to push the like button and subscribe hit on the notification bell so you will get a ding ding whenever new stuff is coming up from me until next time i catch up with you peace out